before we get started, just give you one uh, quick look at the uh, workmanship I did, <laughs> so-called. Um, just temporarily set things up here for now. I don't think this came out too, too bad. I can live with that. I just put some wood filler in there. Um, okay, let's show you what I got from uh, Jewett City uh, today. I picked this up at Jewett City uh, from a, a different vendor I never dealt with before for $3. Yes, three dollars. Um, you notice here that this eight transistor sign right here, this uh, decal or whatever you want to call it, is upside down. It's an eight transistor radio. Cases and uh, well, not great shape. It was in a bin with a lot of other junk that the guy was selling, not really radio related. So I looked at it. <clears throat> Let me get you on a tripod. Right away, I noticed the dial wasn't moving. So it's on and off switch at the bottom, and the dial is up here. So you know me with dial cords. Hi, Ron. Ron C. in Florida. He loves dial cords. Uh, I'm not going to attempt to work on this, but I just wanted to show you the radio. Okay. Needs to be cleaned up. Case seems to be in good shape. Super fringe is what it says. So let's get the uh, back off. I just use a coin. I got to dig one out of my pocket. Okay, let me give you the model number. I can't find my magnifier. I was working on this project today and everything's in disarray. So I'm not going to be able to read the model number. Let me put this on macro. And maybe you can read it. It looks like a, a 537115 or something like that. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't have my magnifier with me. So, when I make the video, I'll put the model number in. Um, Alright, so I can't do anything more. I can't see any better than that. Uh, it appears, I'm not sure, but it appears that the loop stick might be broken. Ferrite bar. It looks like it might be broken. Um, no corrosion in the uh, battery holder. It takes uh, again. I don't. I can't find my magnifier. It's. It got pushed off to the side when I was working on this project today. I think it takes four C cells. Um, kind of a cramped chassis for my eyes, anyways. Uh, the spring contact and the positive contact don't seem to be too bad. <clears throat> Try to get you. I think I got it on macro. Try to get 
try to get you some close-ups close-up looks at this um, now uh, I don't know if this uses a dial cord or not uh, I see a couple pulleys in there so it does there's no way I'm attacking that job I am not tackling that job, that's for sure. It uses two audio output transformers. Um, uh, I'm not going to attempt to work on this at all. For $3, well, I spend that much money in McDonald's. So, um... Yeah. Dial cord, it definitely uses the dial cord. So, uh, this probably takes six volts. Let me uh, put the power supply on it. All right, I've got my power supply set at six volts. Here's the negative here. We got the power switch on. Hearing something. was hearing something. Of course, I can't tune it. I won't work on something like this. This is strictly AM. Um, I know of two fellas that may want this. Greg's Vintage Workshop and Ron C. in Florida. Ron C. in Florida loves doing dial cords. He loves it. I got hair thin wires over here. I'm certainly not working with that stuff. Um, doesn't seem to be too happy. It's making noise, but static. Volume's all the way up. So there you be. Channel Master. Then for a dollar each, I got these two Exolite. Quarter inch, I have one. And this is uh, 5 sixteenths, I believe. It's got that fungi on the... Uh, handle that a lot of these plastic things do have. This is a uh, maybe v Vaco. I don't know. I don't know, but it's a half inch and uh, that's something I I don't have as a half inch nut driver. And now I have one. So I paid a dollar for each of these. So I spent a total of six dollars, three for the radio and three for them. So you can never have too many nut drivers. That's it. Short and sweet tonight, folks. We'll try to get this one up. Probably we're going to 
put the video together tonight and we'll probably get it up Monday. Because I want you to watch the project video first, which is already up there. Have a good night, everybody.